Spirit quicken our ears and our attention to hone in in your words this morning. Holy Spirit, please illuminate the truth to our eyes to behold the wonderful things of your word. Yes, God. God, let everything be done to glorify your name alone. Amen. In the glorious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, my Lord Lele, uh, grace and peace to you, family. I mean, good morning to you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What a wonderful journey as we looked into the book of Psalm 23, the many truths that we were able to extract from that psalm as we went verse by verse in this devotion. Um, Father, we thank you that your word is still alive and it's still active. So just a quick summary of um, Psalm 23 verses 1 to 5. Um, in the book of Psalm, Davis, David gives us the following descriptions of the Lord. We find in verse 1 that the Lord is our shepherd. Um, we find in verse 2 the feeding and the leading of the Lord. <clears throat> we find in verse 3 the restoring and guiding. Mm -hmm. In verse 4 we find the Lord calming and comforting. And in verse 5 we find him serving and satisfying. So this morning we're going to cover verse 6. So the title for this verse is God Pursuing and God Keeping. God Pursuing and God Keeping. The first point would be the surely goodness and mercy shall be shall follow me all the days of my life. That's the God Pursuing part. And God Keeping will be I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So before we get into the psalm, just some quick observations of the psalm. Um, the psalm um, is the script. Uh, this psalm is a description of David and his personal relationship with God. Um, so David had um, identified um, this by the statement that he made at the beginning: "The Lord is my shepherd." And if we count the amount of times the psalmist uses those personal words, "me" and "my," it all adds up to thirteen times. Um, so we can see that. The psalm is a personal psalm to do that he didn't just sit and write a words that didn't mean nothing. This is a psalm that was personal to David. Yeah. Also, another thing to point out in this psalm is that the word the psalm starts with the words um, the Lord and it also ends with the word the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, from the beginning to the end um, of the psalm, it's about the relationship between the Lord and the psalmist. So if we can read verse 6, if I can have those with a Psalm 1 Bible, please read um, Psalm 23 verse 6, and if I can have um, Brother Vai Vai read in English, and then I'll follow through with um, reading it in time. So those of us with a Psalm 1 Bible, Psalm 23 verse 6, Ia. Uh, Psalms 23 verse 6 Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalms <laughs> The psalmist makes a confident start in this verse. As you read, it's surely, surely. Now, if we stop there, we look at the word surely that comes from the Hebrew word ach, ach, it's a bit dry. Uh, but that means um, indeed. Surely, so there's a certainty that encompasses this word surely. Um, uh, yeah, sure, surely. If we look into the dictionary, it says something that's going to happen or definitely will happen. Mm -hmm. So the psalmist here is saying this is absolute truth. This is certain. I'm definitely 100% true. Now we ask the question, what is the psalmist 100% true or what's absolute truth? He goes on to say that goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Now, if we look at those two words, goodness and mercy, these are also the attributes of God. 
And if we unpack the word goodness, this comes from the Hebrew word tohuv, tohuv, which means good, excellent. Mm -hmm. When I unpack this word um, goodness, the most repetitive word in the meaning of the word goodness was the word good, mm -hmm. was the word good. So we can go to some scripture references that uses the word good and has the same meaning of God's or good or excellence. Good or excellence. So if we can go to Genesis chapter 1 verse 4. 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 And those of us who for Samoan Bible, if I can um, have you guys read Genese Mataupu more more far with five with far, please. Iya. And Tongan. Senesi bahe taha vesi fa oku pehe ni lau pe a fio ehe o tua ki e mama ku le lei e na e vahe i ehe o tua ai mama me he po uli. In English it reads, and God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. So the word there, good, is the same word being used here in some. Um, 23 verse 6 that talks about good excellence that God does his works of excellence yeah. Yeah. now if we go back to Psalm 23 verse um, verse 6 we look at the second word there of God's attribute which is the mercy part if we unpack the word mercy that comes from the Hebrew word chesed chesed which means goodness and kindness. Goodness and kindness. Goodness, kindness, and also faithfulness. Goodness, kindness, and faithfulness. The word mercy here David is writing about is God's goodness, God's kindness, and God's faithfulness. Mm -hmm. If we can go to Salamu Loa, Sefolu Mare Lima, Fai Upue Fitu. Salamu Loa, Sefunu Mare Lima, Fai Upue Fitu. I mean, if I can have Brother Fred read it in English, Psalms 25, verse 7, and then I'll finish off in Tonga. Uh, do not remember the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to your mercy, remember me, for your goodness' sake, O Lord. So, those of us who are Psalm 1 Bible, Ia. Mm -hmm. Mm mai ke tau mo ho o ofa ko uhia eki ko lelei o afiona so it's the same word they used mercy so when the psalmist is talking about um, mercy in psalm 25 verse 7 he's talking about god's goodness god's kindness and god's faithfulness so in psalm 23 verse 6 david writes god's goodness god's excellence and mercy, his goodness and kindness and faithfulness mm -hmm. shall follow me. Mm -hmm. Now, if we look at those sentences, shall or that sentence shall follow me. This was um, a surprise when I looked it up. Because um, normally shall follow me, it's the uh, oh, cool, I'll just you know tag along or just follow along. But when we unpack this word into original writings in the Hebrew word, it comes from the word for daf, or daf, which means to pursue to follow after and to chase. So it's not just a, a walk behind, or you walk in front, I walk behind. There's a pursuing mm -hmm. that, that takes place. There's a chase that takes place. 
Mm -hmm. So God pursuing, comforting, as the psalmist writes, this is true or absolute true, that God's goodness and God's kindness and faithfulness, which is God himself pursuing or chasing after or following the psalmist. Mm -hmm. Now we might be we might be asking ourselves this question: Now, how long does God chase us for, or how long does God pursue us for? David says, "There all the days of my life, all the days of my life." In other words, it means forever or for eternity. An amazing encouragement that we as believers not only have the great Shepherd leading us, but also He comes after us, He pursues us with goodness and mercy. That's the God. Pursuing. The next part of this um, part is the God. Um, so we've got God pursuing, then we've got the God keeping. We've got the, uh, the Lord that keeps. So in verse 6, we read the part, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now the verse starts off with the word and. And this means that it's a continual from what just preceded. The word and is an add-on to the verse prior to this one. So it's saying not only does the Lord pursue us with his mercy and goodness, he also invites us into his house. And I will dwell. And I will dwell. The sentence and I will dwell comes from the Hebrew word yoshab. Yoshab, which means to dwell, to remain, to sit, to abode and also to dwell in one's abode. We observe that the psalmist is now dwelling or abiding. Now whose house is the psalmist dwelling in or abiding in? We read there, it's the house of the Lord. It's the house of the Lord. This shows the personal relationship David had with the Lord as he knows that he will be dwelling in the house of the Lord. Now when you invite someone into your house, it's not, you're not just inviting them, you're inviting them into your personal space. You're inviting them into a place of intimacy, of relationship. Because in your house, there's pictures um, of your families, there's pictures of what you love to do. So it's sort of a intimate time. It's not just a come over. It's an intimate time. This is the same concept that um, uh, uh, God uses here. As, oh, as the psalmist says, that um, I will dwell in the house of the Lord. He's been invited into dwell in the house of the Lord, but it's a personal dwelling place for the Lord. If we can go to John 14, verse 3, Ioane se fulu male fa fai upu e tolu. And if I can have um, our Samoan, uh, those of us of a Samoan Bible, please read Ioane se fulu male fa fai upu e tolu. And I'll read in Tongan. Um, if I can have Brother Vai Vai read in English. So there's the last of a Samoan Bible. Ia. Ate foio te aguma samu ni se meno no foa i kontro. O te to e sao. O te to di a foi o to o fantasi samu. I na ia ia i o to o i le mea o te ia ia. Amen. John 14 verse 3. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. Shone by the half a vesitol says this. Beneongo teu alu o teu teu hapotu mormotol, ka akuo to a hapupe, beto maoki motol kiatea, koe uhi, koe potu oku wo iai, e mo iai for. So in this scripture, Jesus talks about his father's house being one of many rooms that he'll go to prepare. The similarities with these two scriptures is that this will be a place where Jesus will receive us or welcome us into. And note that the, um, this is only to believers. So it's not for everyone. This is only for those who trust and believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Only they are being invited into the house that Jesus will go and prepare. The concept of Psalm 23 verse 6, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord, brings the idea, the psalmist remaining in the house of the Lord, mm. dwelling in the house of the Lord, meaning it's not a hotel where you go and check in for two or five nights. <laughs> no, it's the concept here that's 
forever. The psalmist writes, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is eternity. This is once saved, always saved. This is security. Amen. Being encouraged uh, for us as believers that those who are saved, that the Lord of hosts will invite us into his many rooms of his father's house. We are secure in salvation through Jesus Christ, who died on the cross bearing our sins, paid our debt, and on the third day rose again. Now we wait until the return for the Lord and Savior to receive us and welcome us into his new abode, where we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We end this psalm with the Lord pursuing and keeping. Before, before um, I'll pray and hand it over to Brother Wai Wai, um, if I can have all um, those of us of a Samoan Bible uh, read Salamu Lua Sefulu Wale Tolu. If we can read Psalm 23 one more time. Um, and I'll follow through in Tongan. And if I can have Brother Wai Wai follow through in English. So Psalm 23. Salamu Lua Sefulu Wale Tolu. Ia. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Same wa tolu wa etaha ke hona mo pehene lao. Ko kutawi a si hova e ikai te o masiva. O kune fakatokoto wa o hengahi toafa lo muka muka. O kune taki yao ke hengahi vai fakanonga. Ko kulao malie o kune fakafoki. O kune taki yao ke hengahi hala o ma oni oni. Ko hono u hengahi ko hono hua fabe. Io. Ne yongo ete alu pe i ete lea o kumalu waki yae ae mate, e ikaite o manawahe ki hakovi, e kokoe o kumafeohi. Ko si o toko toko mo akau, o kune whakawhia mali e i au. O kuke teu teu mai i hoku au ha te pili, ka ko hoku ngahi fili o kusiu mei he. Ko ke pani lolo hoku ulu, o kufonu mahua hua a e kuipu. Ta e tau pili mai ai lelei moe alo ofa e hoku ngahi a hou kotoa. Pea ko e ku nofo i he whale o si hova e whai pe o la ngo. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for leading us through Psalm 23. We are grateful for the help of the Holy Spirit to illuminate the scriptures to all our eyes. Father, your word alone comforts us, strengthens us, directs us and leads us. Help us abide by your word. 
Sanctify us by your truth, for your word is truth. Help us keep your truths, to be doers of your truths. These things I ask through our Lord, our great shepherd, I pray. Amen. Amen. If we can have, um, if we can also.